welcome back to my channel, Beauty Besties. My name is Ebony. I go by Ebony HD on the internet. And my whole purpose here on the internet is to help you look good and smell better. So if that seems like something that you're interested in, then go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and comment. I love to engage with people in the comments. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any uploads today we're going to be getting into some fragrances that i was sent by lake and sky now they're a newer fragrance brand and they tout to be you know kind of this clean approach to fragrance so they are free of a lot of different things and i'll go ahead and put that somewhere up on the screen for those of us that are just trying to be a bit more conscious about the things that we put on their skin lake and sky is a great option so i have three fragrances and a oil that they sent on over so if you're interested in that go ahead and stay on please make sure to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video let's get into it i want to get loose i want to have like some fun so the first fragrance that i want to talk to you about is the santal gray but as you can see with all of the packaging for all of the fragrances they kind of do this simple minimalist circular truncated vibe the tops aren't magnetic, but they are on secure, pretty snug. And all of the fragrances that I got were 1.7 ounce. I believe there are larger sizes in some of the other fragrances, like 1111, but don't quote me. This is just what I was sent. When I first smelled Centel Grey and after I kind of sat with it for a while, it definitely kind of impressed me as a scent that is like a hotel lobby type of fragrance or a fancy type of spa. It definitely exudes a very sophisticated, suave, handsome, chic type of vibe. Something where it's like you're not trying too hard, but I can't help but stunt because that's who I am. I'm really that girl, even if I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and jeans type of fragrance. The notes are sandalwood, cardamom, violet leaf, and musk. So to me, that makes it very woody, very powdery. On Fragrantica, it says it has kind of like an ozonic quality, which is like the sky outside. And I definitely get that from this fragrance. I've sprayed it on here probably about 45 minutes to an hour ago. And it has like the warmth of my body heat a little bit, but it is fabric. And I feel like I can really get a good sense of this fragrance. There are definitely some aromatic qualities to this. So I think the cardamom and the violet are like doing such a good job of playing with that kind of like almost like slightly spicy but powdery type of scent. I know that oud is not listed in this fragrance, but to me, this does remind me of oud satin mood by mfk just a little bit especially in the opening i don't know what it is maybe it's the sandalwood or something but there is like a, a dense kind of sweet woodiness that occurs and so that's why i would say that this fragrance is pretty unisex i would like to wear this but i do see this being a little more masculine leaning but ladies don't let that deter you if you love a fragrance that brings a vibe to a room, like I said earlier, this is very much, I'm effortlessly rich, I'm effortlessly that girl, but- I don't recall meeting you before. That's impossible. That's that impossible. Is that, I mean, I was that bitch. I was Yamana from Clark, CAU. Uh, it's not, you know, that girl, I'm just them, I'm they. You know, I don't even need pronouns. I'm I'm beyond all of that. That's that's what this is giving. And I always want to make sure I leave you guys with some tips on how to layer your fragrances because to me, you know, you're not wearing fragrance if you're not starting in the shower, if you're not starting in the bathroom. So for me, I would wear this with something that is a little more masculine. If you have any uh, of those kind of like old spice type of fragrances that are a little more like woody like the sandalwood one i know they have one that's kind of like that creamy formula i do find that i can use those moisturizing 
um, Old Spice ones versus just like the regular one. I think that sandalwood one would go so well with this. Ladies, trust me, you can put this on, do that. And for a layering combination, this really just came to me right now. I would love to layer this with something like Gentle Fluidity Gold. If you're looking to add a little more sweetness, let's see what that actually smells like. Just gonna do like one spray. Cause I've already sprayed it on here. I love Gentle Fluidity Gold, but that's for another day. Yeah, just as I thought, Gen Gentle Fluidity Gold kind of has like a little bit of like aromatic quality to me as well. Um, before it gets into that really good vanilla. So I think that if you're looking to kind of sweeten this up and you're already perfume girly, you might have this. So these two would go really well together. I really do enjoy this one. I like fragrances that aren't always on the nose for somebody like me. I definitely love a sweet, fruity fragrance. I love a gourmand. I love my vanillas, you know, and I do love my like spicy fragrances, but I also do like to smell kind of clean, kind of simple. I think there's a sophistication in showing up like that and it does bring me confidence and kind of boosts my mood. So I do love a fresh fragrance, kind of like this, like a fresh, woody, powdery fragrance. Let me know if you are into fragrances like this and if you'd like me to do a video where I talk more about fragrances like this, I don't own a ton, but I have sampled quite a few that I can speak to and I'd love to do a video on that. All right, now we're moving right along and I thought that I would sandwich probably the most popular fragrance from this brand, this house, um, into the middle of the video and that would be Lake and Sky 1111. Get into her. And I think I would have included um some type of b-roll footage show you guys what the packaging looks like because it's very cute i don't really want to get too much into it but i will show you guys some um of my ugc work that i've done with that so yeah the packaging is super cute for this but lake and sky 1111 is definitely probably the most popular fragrance from this brand and it is described, um, at least has been described to me from everything that I get from the marketing, kind of a your skin, but better type of fragrance. And again, this is not my normal, typical type of fragrance that I love to gravitate towards, but I do know that I love to keep a fragrance like this in my collection or keep a few fragrances that fit this type of profile. So it doesn't really have a ton of notes. It's said to have kind of like ozonic notes in the top, some amber wood in the mid, and then some musk in the base. And that's pretty much what I get. It gives me kind of like a walking on the seashore type of scent. Um, if the sea breeze kind of came up and kissed your skin. Um, it also brings back a childhood memory of a friend that my brother had. And this friend, he had an indoor pool and they would go swimming frequently. So their skin almost smelled like chlorine, which I associated with like water. So it kind of gives me, you know, that is kind of how I associate a type of skin to smell. So I really do enjoy that type of fragrance. Now, like I said, this is super hyped up on TikTok. You know, you pretty much probably would know this as being the standout from the brand. And I can say that this isn't my favorite from all of the three that I was sent. Now, what I do like about this fragrance from the brand is this. And I'll, I'll tell you this, I it's not that I dislike the scent. I think the scent is actually really beautiful and it lasts on your skin. Um, it is one of those fragrances that you would just go nose blind to and that's okay, but other people will smell it. This isn't the type of fragrance that you're, you know, kind of looking for people to smell. It's more of like your glossy AU. Um, another 13 is another fragrance I would associate this with. Juliet has a gun um, and others that kind of fall into that fragrance. Um, Molecule, the whole Molecule line, the 01 would probably be most similar to this, but that ISOE is super type of vibe. Um, but like I was saying, for me, this isn't my favorite from the line, but what I do really enjoy about it is that they have released now this body oil. I'm a body oil 
stan okay so this is something that you need to know about me ebony loves body oils she loves a layering moment so when i saw that they had this body oil i was like okay i see what y'all are trying to do i see what y'all are doing so i love that it has like this super cool packaging like instead of having to like pour it or pump it's just like this moment right here and you can put it out i do wish more kind of came out but I understand that this is more of a fragrance enhancing perfume oil than a moisturizing oil. So let me take a little bit out and put it on my hand so you can see, but this is how it looks. So it's super runny and it just blends in like that. So like I did put a lot on, but you see how runny it is. It's not going to just stay somewhere. And then, you know, just kind of be there. You definitely just want to put it in your finger or like right on your skin a little bit and really massage it into the area. So this is it completely rubbed in. It gives just like a nice sheen, you know, if for my girls or guys or people, you know, that don't really like to wear lotions or body products like that because they feel sticky, you won't have that problem with this and you'll just have that subtle kind of scent. So for me, this would be a great layering fragrance. I'm thinking of pretty much, you can layer this with anything and just get that type of scent profile. Um, I would layer it with Centel Grey. I would layer it with um, literally so many things, but one thing that sticks out to me would be the increasing kind of like that fresh, preppy element of Dylan Blue. I love this fragrance. It already does kind of have that type of vibe to it, but I think this would take it like even more over the top and really just kind of add a little something different to this well-known, well-loved fragrance. So that is Lake and Sky 1111. Last but not least, we have the final fragrance that I was sent. And this one, let me wipe it off, honey, because I've been wearing this one. This one is Midnight 07. And we have a different packaging. I'll show you guys in the UGC example. Even the packaging on the inside is different. And you'll see I struggled so hard to get out the fragrances. Um, both St. Chal Grey and 1111 were a struggle to say the least to get out. But they incorporated a nice little pool for you to easily get the fragrance out. And I love details like that. Somebody... Um, one of their customers probably explained to them like, hey, this is not the thing. And they went back to the lab and changed it. So I love that. And I love this fragrance. This is so beautiful. It is a rose, woody, vanilla, patchouli type of fragrance. And off the bat, it really just screams cozy luxury to me. So let me just keep it real with you guys. This scent profile is not new. Um, it really reminded me of Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, which is a widely, hugely popular fragrance. And it was my signature scent for a long time that I kind of came and went back and forth with. So I think that is what drew me to this. But one thing that kind of turned me off from Flower Bomb that has turned me on to this is that this is not as sweet as Flower Bomb and the patchouli seems to be a little smoother. It's a bit more well blended and I really can pick up on the vanilla and a really nice high quality rose. For me on the skin, this is gonna last me about, I could smell it for about six to seven hours, but my boyfriend did say that the next morning he could smell it on me now. I couldn't smell it on myself, but I'm also not snuggled in with myself. So, you know, let's get into the notes breakdown. So at the top, which to me, the top makes this type of kind of traditional, or I would say like a newer type of classic type of fragrance profile, a little bit different. And it's because it has Fig and Yuzu in the top. And I think Fig is definitely having like a tiny bit of a moment but I love a fig note when it's done right. And this definitely is done right. And I think the yuzu just gives it just a little bit of snap. It helps it from getting into, you know, thickly sweet territory. Um, and I think a citrus in the top is always gonna do that. 
a lot of people use like bergamot so i thought it was nice that they used something a little more interesting like yuzu the middle of the fragrance is the heart and that's where we have the rose and patchouli i am on the fence about patchouli i am chronically a flip-flopper about patchouli because i've had some patchoulis that i really love and this one definitely veers closer to that side and i also have had some patchoulis that i really cannot stand i was just on tiktok live talking about one um i'll have to do a video on that one but i it can go really you know good or really bad and then there are some fragrances where i don't even detect the patchouli you know it's just kind of so well blended in and adds such a, a good support for the fragrance but this is patchouli done right it's not giving anything medicinal or anything dirty it just supports um and it does have you know a herbal quality but it, it doesn't lean to you know dirty it doesn't lead to you know anything to herbal and it doesn't lean medicinal either so i do enjoy that and in the base we have vanilla amber and vetiver it is a pretty solid base in my opinion you really cannot go wrong with vanilla and amber most times so i do love that little added vetiver note i tend to love vetiver in fragrances it just gives it a little you know oomph like something where it seems like it couldn't just be a hundred percent feminine so i love that they added that to this fragrance in that case though i would say that this is very feminine leaning to me you know i am a hundred percent a person that believes that there is no gender when it comes to fragrance and choosing how to express how you smell you know it's really just about how you feel and how you want to put that out there or you know just how you're drawn to something and how you want to smell so it's very personal but i do want to be realistic when i'm talking to people that you know are living in the world 2023 there is no such thing as smell a vision and I'm trying to get a message across. So I am going to use language like that to help describe it to people. So in that event, I would say that this is more feminine leaning in my opinion, but I think that anybody could rock this. It's really beautiful. The sillage is pretty nice. The projection is better than the other two fragrances. Santel Gray is, uh, it does project some and 1111 to my nose, you know, I kind of have to bury my arm in it because of the type of fragrance that it is. So this is actually my favorite from the brand. I'm not sure if I already said that, but this is the favorite from the three that I was sent. And I wanna tell you guys about some layering combos. This is the layering combo that I actually did the other night when I went out with my friends. I started in the shower. I used the Bath and Body Works Into the Night um, body wash. I have like the moisturizing one. So in that, my opinion, that one stays on your skin a little better than just like the shower gel. So that formula is a winner for me and it's a lot more moisturizing in my opinion. It lathers up really nice, it's a creamy lather. So I use that and I also meant to mention in talking about fragrances that this smells like a great budget option for something like this. Or if you like those types of fragrances like Into the Night by Bath & Body Works, this smells very similar to that. But like I was saying, shower routine, shower with Into the Night. And as soon as I came out, I went ahead and put on some body oil from Dokken Zerone Co. I used their body oil in Black Rose. And that to me also kind of amped up the sweet rose quality of this and kind of like that juiciness. I think that one has like plum. So I love that the plum and the fig, those are kind of like sister fruits in my opinion. So I think that combo went well together. And then if you have into the night, if you have a body cream or lotion from them, you could go ahead and use that. I followed up with an unscented lotion just because I was going to be, um, you know, I just didn't want to have to wait with putting on my clothes and stuff and I had already used oil so I didn't bother doing that but another cream that I have in my collection that I would recommend if you love this type of scent profile and to layer with this fragrance is the Sol de Janeiro um, Bon Dia Bright Cream. That one has this type of like rosy um warm floral scent profile and that's what i would say that this is warm floral so if you find yourself liking these type of fragrance congrats you're a warm floral girl i am as well 
And if you like those type of fragrances, definitely subscribe because I have a lot more where that came from. But this is Midnight 07 and she is my favorite from the three that I received. All right, y'all, those are my thoughts on the three fragrances that I was sent from Lake and Sky. I picked those out and I have to say I'm pretty happy with my choices. So let me know what you thought about any of the fragrances. Let me know if you think some of them are up your alley. If you'd like to, you know, try some of them. They do have samples of all of the fragrances and I do believe they have a sample set that has all of their fragrances. These are only three, they do have a few more. So I think that if you like the sound of these, you should definitely check those out. So if you're still here with me, thanks so much for watching. If you like this type of content, if you're a fragrance girly or guy or just love beauty overall, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more content like this coming your way soon and I don't want you to miss any of it. Okay, I'll see you all in my next video. Talk to you all soon. Bye.